49-year-old Janet Weinrib was diagnosed with ovarian cancer two years ago. Something was sticking out of my stomach. I mean, there was a pronounced bulge in my lower abdomen. But in retrospect, there were signs of her cancer almost two months earlier. The feeling of being, um, I would say, bloated would be a, a, the best description. According to new guidelines issued today, that's just one of four common symptoms indicating early ovarian cancer. In addition to bloating, other symptoms include feeling full quickly, abdominal pain, and frequent or urgent urination. We don't want to frighten people into having everyone think that, oh my gosh, I've got ovarian cancer because I have bloating. Most people will not, um, but symptoms that are concerning are symptoms that are new for a patient, um, that persist for more than several weeks, and that occur almost daily. Ovarian cancer, if detected early, is 90% curable, but it's often misdiagnosed and only 19% of cases are discovered in the earliest stage. We know that ovarian cancer in many cases can grow very rapidly, so time is of the essence. A PSA test for prostate cancer, mammograms for breast cancer, colonoscopies for colon cancer, why isn't there some kind of early diagnostic test for ovarian cancer? The reason is um, partially because the ovaries are um, deep inside the body. So we're really relying on, I think, two modalities. One are um, imaging studies like x-rays and new types of x-rays. And then the other are blood tests to look for different substances that ovarian cancer may be shedding into the blood. In the meantime, Dr. Brown says women must listen carefully to their bodies and doctors must listen carefully to their patients. Part of the importance of this study is to let doctors know, too, um, that these symptoms exist and so that it can really trigger in their minds when they're seeing women like this to think about this as a possibility.